All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to move our footage from Prelude into Premiere, and we're going to do some basic editing. Um, you'll learn how to do all of the editing techniques you need to know to do your first television news package. So, here in Prelude, um, obviously you will want to have already brought your clips in, brought your video in with Prelude. You'll see that you have your clips over here. I want you to highlight your clips by clicking and dragging. When you click and drag, you get this box and you can highlight your clips. So, your clips are now highlighted. I want you to go to File and Send to Premiere. Now the computer's going to have to think for a second. I'm going to jump forward. I'm going to edit this. Oh, never mind. It pulled right up. Okay. So, give it a name. Call it News Package. You may want to browse here and make sure it's going in your folder. Go to the desktop. Go to the folder with your name on it. And now you can choose that folder. Remember, we made you a folder on the last video. So now click OK. Premiere is open. Okay, we see our clips down here. Now we need one more, uh, one more thing in Premiere before we start editing. And that's going to be the audio for your voiceover. Uh, you can record that audio on one of the audio recorders or you can obviously do it on your cell phone and email that to yourself. Um, make sure you get that audio file on your computer and put it in your folder on the desktop. Now to bring that audio into Premiere for your voiceover, we're going to go to File and Import. In my case, I've put it in a folder called Editing, and there's my file, and Import. There we go. Now we have an audio file. Now, notice down here in your, uh, in your project viewer, you have, with your video files, you can see a thumbnail and with audio files you see a representation of an audio waveform so that's an easy way that you can know okay what kind of files uh, am I dealing with okay so now that we have that done we need to make a sequence for our timeline so go to file new and sequence and what I want you to choose here is the uh, AVC HD 1080i 30. And you can just give it a sequence one right now. That's perfectly fine. You're only going to have one sequence in this project, so, so leave that as it is. And click OK. There you go. So we have a sequence now. And so we can start putting our video together down in this sequence. Now what I recommend you do is you start by editing your voiceovers and your sots first and then you come back and put your b-roll in last. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up my voiceover and I'm going to play this very quickly. Tyler Junior College. <clears throat> Tyler Junior. Okay, so there I have a part of that voiceover that I do not want to use, right? So, I'm going to need to clip out the part of the voiceover that I do want to use. So, you can use this scrubber bar right here. You can use your scrubber bar to move around in the audio file. And you can actually, if you look at the screen, you can see you can see where the words are, right? We can see that my throat clearing is right there. I don't want that. And I kind of don't want that smack, okay? So I'm going to move my scrubber to about right there. And then on the keyboard, I am going to hit the I key. The I key sets an end point for my clip. Now, I'm going to play this. Tyler Junior College offers programs in mass communication. Winston Roberts is a student who wants to go into filmmaking. He talks about why he chose TJC. Okay, so that's what I want. I'm going to hit my O key, my out key. To clip that out. Now what I can do 
is you see this, I can mouse over this little, uh, it looks like a waveform. You see how my, my mouse turned into a hand? I'm going to mouse over that, I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag down to my timeline and drop that, that audio clip down in my timeline. Okay, so I'm back. I made a quick edit. Um, so the next thing that we're going to want to put in our timeline is our SOT. Okay, so obviously you've already written your script and you know what soundbite you want. So you're going to want to go to the interview that has the soundbite you want. I'm going to pretend like this clip right here with Winston has the soundbite that I need. So I'm going to go to it and I'm going to move down. Because it was close. And he answers a question about why he came to Tyler Junior College. Why you decided to come to Tyler Junior College? Because it was Okay, so just like with the audio clip, I can scrub through here and find exactly where I want to cut this piece of video. And what you'll what you'll notice is you can use your mouse to scrub through, you know, by clicking and dragging the scrubber. Another thing that you can do is you can use the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard to move one frame at a time. to get very, very precise with your edits. So I'm going to go and find my end point. Alright, I have decided that this is where I'm going to do my end point. Hit I for N for your end point, and I'll play the clip. Because it was close to home and it was pretty cheap. Okay, so obviously that's the end of my, my sound bite. That will correspond to whatever you have in your script. I'm going to move back just a little bit because I want to tighten up my edit and hit O for your out point. Now, so I have my, my video clipped out uh, that I want to bring down to my timeline. I can either click right here, uh, or sorry, I don't want to click there. Go ahead and click on the picture and drag down your timeline and butt it up to the end of that voiceover that you brought down. And that's the process that you're going to do all the way down your timeline. The next thing you'll do is click out the next part of the VO that you need to bring in, bring it down, and then put another SOT, and then put another VO, and put another SOT until you get to the end of your package. Okay, so obviously once you have done that, then you're going to want to start laying in your B-roll. Now, of course, you want your B-roll to correspond to what you're saying. So, in this case, uh, I have some footage of the outside of one of the buildings at Tyler Junior College. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and I'm going to go find a, a good place uh, to get an edit. So I'm going to decide, well there, I like that footage. There's an end point and there's an out point and now I want to bring this footage down to my timeline. But in this case I only want to bring the footage, I do not want to bring the sound. So take your mouse and arrow over this little film strip icon and you'll notice that it changes and says drag video on only. Click on that and now drag the video. What I want you to do here is I want you to put the video in the video track 2. It's labeled as V2 and I want you to drop the video there. Okay, so I've dropped that piece of video. Now I'm gonna go find another piece of video to put in there. Uh, let's say that we'll do this uh, Apache Powwow Newsroom clip, and I'm going to go ahead and put an endpoint, and I'll drag that down. Oh, now if you'll notice, I did not do that correctly. I brought the audio down with it, so I'm just going to drop this back up there, and I'm going to hover back over this, click, and drag. Alright, so I've dropped two pieces of video. Now you'll notice I have a hole here. If I play this Tyler back... Tyler Junior College offers programs in mass communication. Winston Roberts is a student who wants to go into filmmaking. He talks... Okay, so that's not going to work. So what I want you to do is now you can, down here in your timeline, in your sequence, you can zoom in. You see what I did there? Go down here to the very bottom and click on that little box and you can zoom in. You're zooming in through time. And of course, I can see where that, I can see where this black spot is. Okay, sorry, I had to make another edit there. Uh, QuickTime decided to quit recording on me. So, we have zoomed in, and we can see where, th where our little uh, black spot is. Now I'm going to have to 
uh, back up here, um, we can see where our black spot is. So if you hover over the end of a clip, you'll notice that your mouse uh, changes to this little red icon. We can click on the end of a clip and we can extend it out. And you can, of course, extend it out up until the point that there's no more video on that clip. So I'm going to extend that one out just a little further, like that. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to extend it backwards. And I'm going to zoom out now. Go back to the beginning of my timeline. And play. Tyler Junior College offers programs in mass communication. Winston Roberts is a student who wants to go into filmmaking. He talks about why he chose TJC. Because it was close to home and it was pretty cheap. There you go. Okay, and that's all you're going to do. What I want you to do is lay out those voiceovers with the SOTs and then cover your voiceovers with B-roll.